Afternoon and welcome to this AFC Bournemouth match day vlog. It's a vlog with a difference. Well, not least, look, it's our second domestic pre-season friendly, but it comes after the news that's been officially confirmed at one o'clock today. Dom Solanke has gone to Tottenham Hotspur. We know how much it's worth, 55 million plus 10 million in add-ons. And Bournemouth fans, well, we need to gauge exactly how they're feeling. We're also interested to see how Iriola will line up today against Girona. They got beat 4-0 at Newcastle last night, so will it be a stronger side today? But either way, we should be seeing, hopefully, something that's close to what we'll be starting with at Forest. We're all hoping that we'll use that money that we've got for Don wisely and get someone in, but we need to know what fans are thinking. So, there's nothing like going to the QP for a match day, chatting to the fans, and seeing how they're feeling. Plus, is there some other transfer news too? Let's find out. How are you feeling, Tom? I'm fine. Oh, are you really? Yep. Sad move day. On. Sad move day. On. Yeah, I'm all good. Can I just um, can I just remind you of something? Yeah. Go when on. we were in LA, mm. you were on Air TV, yep. and you said something to Robbie. What was that? That's before any rumours, by the way. Yeah, I said that I, I felt like their neighbours, Tottenham, might be the team that come in for Dom when asked about Solanke. I think that was mainly, like you say, there was no real rumours at that time. I just looked at the squads, and obviously we knew about the release clause, and I thought, who needs a goal scorer? And Ange has been given a lot of responsibility at Tottenham. They spoke about that, how they really believe in his style. And I just think they create so many chances. And if you've got like a Richarlison or they had Werner for a bit last season, they're not the type of strikers that will finish that off. And the season Dom's had, um, yeah, I think he'll score goals for him, mate. I think it'll be really, really good for him. So I do genuinely wish him all the best. Um, hope he does really well. Probably, I, I've already seen articles going top of the side. England striker. Oh, he's England now, is he? But yeah, I'm sure he'll do really well. So it's a shame, but you know, it's it was inevitable. I was always kind of felt that it was probably going to happen. Um, and yeah, is what it is, mate. Let's see if we see what we can do now. See if we can replace him or at least get someone in that could compete with Unal and, and then maybe have a little bit left over to strengthen in other areas. So we'll move on, mate. Um, I always say that it's a different position. I think the hardest position to replace is a goal scorer. But last season, we lost Lerma at the start. We brought in Tyler Adams, Alex Scott, and they were both injured. But we got a coach that went, all right, I've lost Lerma. I've got no centre midfield. I'll make Christie one. True. And he's, we've got a really good coach and he'll it, make it work. We've got Joe here, landlord of the QP, the place to have a drink pre-match this season. Joe, you've seen the news today. Yeah. What do you, are Bournemouth going to cope? Yeah, I think so, to be honest with you. I'm a great admirer of obviously you and I. He's came in, you know what I mean? He's got a broken toe at the moment, but I reckon game a run of games. Seems good in the air, he's got a great presence in the box. Yeah, I wouldn't underrate him, to be fair. I think you've got a possible little gem in your hands there. 55 million plus 10 million add-ons, is that about right? Or maybe we, have they paid too much? Or have we got maybe less than we should have? It's what the contract dictated. It's really out the club's hands, isn't it? There's no point anyone blaming the club for this. It was written into his contract. If a top six team came in, 65 million was the price. Tottenham coughed it up. You've got your first, first way spots and say good luck to the lad. I think he'll be a great success for the way Tottenham play. But I'm also extremely excited for Bournemouth AFC and look to see who they bring in. Some people have been saying that Spurs have been mugged. Do you subscribe to that theory? I mean, we got some good money for him, but have yeah. they overpaid or not? Uh, not in this current market, in my opinion. Um, don't get me wrong, he's, it's a lot of money. Um, but I just, he's a, he's a proven, I know it's maybe you could say one season, but he's last season for a team that come 12th. He's scoring 19 goals, and Tottenham are a team that create a load of chances. I don't, I don't see who else they would get that would suit Tottenham and Ange Ball better than Dom Solanke for that money. Um, so yeah, I think they could do a lot worse, mate. And I think he'll prove a lot of people wrong. And yeah, I, I, I think, I think it's. I wouldn't say mugged. I would say yes, yeah, a lot of money, but believe in Dom. Here's a familiar face. Ollie's here. How are you? Yeah, all good. You're all good, despite the news earlier on. I mean, look, it's a. Uh, a sad day for us really I've, I haven't experienced this kind of pain for for quite a while like Dan yeah. Juma going maybe Nathan Acker going Eddie going but this feels quite pivotal for our club uh, some important decisions to be made from here on in but what are your immediate mm -hmm. thoughts about him going to Spurs look we get the 65 million yep so immediately we can go out there we can look for a replacement 
no one's going to be as good as Dom. We know that. But there's a lot of uh, players that I've seen bagged about, like uh, Santi Jimenez. Um, I see Jonathan David. Uh, some people even say Eddie Nketiah. Uh, he might have gone to Marseille now, actually. Yeah, maybe, we'll maybe. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I think I think it's not... Of course, it, it, it's hard to lose such a good player like Dom is. But I think we can replace him. And I think we will replace him. I, I trust our recruitment team. The onus is now on the recruitment team. But also, yeah. if we don't get someone immediately, the other players to step up and score goals. We know that mm. Semenyo can chip in. We know that Clive can. We don't really get any from Cook or Christie, as we know. <laughs> Sinesi will pop up. But other than that, you're sort of thinking, we need more people to step up to the plate here. Yeah? Well, this is the thing. I, um, I, I was listening to uh, Space um, on, on X uh, the other day. Um, and Christie was scoring like twenty odd goals in the in the Scottish yeah. leagues. You know what? What's stopping him from doing it this season? You know, say it, say it quietly, but he might get a few this season. Jakey's here. How are you feeling, mate? How are you feeling? Um, Dom's gone. Never yeah. will we see him again in red and black. I'm feeling quite upset, really. Um, I think he's a great player. I don't think I don't think you can replace him with someone of that quality. I mean, we've got Jebson, we've got now, but I don't think it's going to cut cut someone like Dom Solanke. Um, yeah. How do you think it will settle him for Spurs? Do you think, because he's going to probably get more chances, you'd think they retain the ball a lot, they got more of the ball during games. You'd think that the chances that the wingers will create him and you know, the team in general will be more than what he gets at ball with better quality of service. Do you think he can, you know, maybe get 20 goals again this season for him? Yeah, I think he was seeking that service and I think he will probably start start for Tottenham and I think he will be one of their key players with the service from Son and players all over the pitch because Tottenham are a top top table team and I think they do have good quality in that side and it will do it for Dom and I think he will get 20 plus goals again this season. And are we making waves, Ollie, with yep. with uh, the signing of a, of, a, of a right back or I, I, yeah. I don't, who is it? <laughs> So it's Araujo, not Ronald though, uh, the uh, centre back. Um, yeah, I th it might be his brother. Um, he's uh, a Mexican right back. Uh, he's never played for the senior team, I don't think. But he's supposed to be pretty good. Um, I haven't watched him personally, but I know a lot. A lot of people have seen some clips of him. He, he looks very promising, but I don't think he'll start. Jake, okay, so look, do you reckon Dom Solanke's finally going to get it? some kind of recognition by playing for England now that he's playing for Spurs I, I thought he was unfortunate to get left out of the Euros based on his season they favoured Tony Tony did well of course but he scored four goals all season Dom got 20 he didn't get a look in do you think now he's at Spurs he'll get that kind of recognition yeah I did think he was going to get it for the Euros but they picked Tony instead I didn't quite understand but now he's playing for a bigger team like Kelly as well I think they will both get both get recognition and might get called up for the England squad. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Ben, it's difficult. how are you How are you feeling? It's emotional, but we'll deal with it. Look, I've, I've got trust in our board and the owner that we've got something up our sleeve. Well, 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 I don't know what that is, but we'll have something planned, obviously. Um, but look, it's, it's gutting. 65 million quid is a lot of money. Obviously, I know we only get 55 million up front, but it's fine. It's going to happen. But it's a similar situation to Brighton, where they've they, they've lost quite a lot of players and they're still doing fine. Um, it's just about replacing them well. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's okay. We, there's I know we've been names have been branded out: Cameron Archer, Santiago Jimenez, or Tammy Abraham, or whoever that may be. But I've got faith. He's a great sign of Tottenham. Don't get me wrong. Phenomenal player. We, we won't we won't get a player like him easily at all, unless we obviously pay very big money, which I doubt we will do. But yeah, it's going, but it's what it is. It's a part of the football merry-go-round, isn't it? And I still trust us to do well this season. 20 million down the drain, Dom Solanke scores again. Or should it be like 45 million in the bank? Yeah. Spurs are still going to be fucking whack. No, they, no, I'm sure they won't be. Um, how are you feeling, Matt? Yeah, I think it was inevitable, wasn't it? I think we, we, we were here, weren't we, at the Brentford Games now, and we said it, well, I said it, it'll be an interesting summer. We saw his last ever goal. Yeah, we saw his last ever goal. And I, I thought we, if we keep hold of him this summer, we'd have done really, really well um, on the pitch. However, I, th I, I think it's good business. I really do. I think the club's done good business to sign him for 20 million and to get the, the fee that we've reportedly got for him. I know that it's in instalments and it's uh, bonus based and all the rest of it. But if you look online, you'll see a lot of fans of other clubs and even Tottenham fans saying 
we've had our pants down there. <laughs> Bournemouth have done really well. Can they can they negotiate my next salary? <laughs> so, Are we the new Brighton? Are we the new Brighton? Yeah, well, that's the model, isn't it, to, to follow? I mean, Southampton did it for years. I think they were the, the pioneers of it, really, yeah. shall we say. Um, and then Brighton have obviously followed suit. So that model is the model that a club like ours has to follow. Um, so I think it's great business off the pitch. However, there's a massive void to fill on it. Um, and we've got to make sure we fill that void, Sam, for me. Uh, we can't, we, I don't think we can survive in the Premier League with Unal, Jebison, who else you got, really, in the number nine role. We need a quality striker in. Abraham's been linked to me and Ketia, um, Cameron Archer. But for me, we, 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 we've got to replace him. Um, so it'll be interested to see what develops over the next few weeks. But in terms of, a, from, from a business point of view, it's a great deal. And you can't begrudge Dom the deal, can you? No. Dom the player. He's handled himself so professionally and perfectly. As, as you know, if you, if you, I think I've said this before as well. You look at Ivan Tony and the way he's tried to engineer a move. You look at the way Dom sananki has gone about it. He's handled himself impeccably. So you full respect to Dom for that. He's given his all for this football club. So I've got nothing but admiration for the for the fella. He's earned the move. Um, it's a great move for him. Great, great business for us. We, it's just what happens now moving forward for us on the pitch. Right, new face. Nice Introduce time. yourself to I'm, the ACB public. I'm Chris Suttle. I've um, followed Cherry since I went to the first match when I was uh, 11 years old, back in 1962. Um, but became a big supporter really later on and uh, went with my daughter here and since uh, she was uh, about eight years old. So, uh, and what well, you know, 16, Livy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so look, you've um, you've experienced the highs and lows. You've experienced pain. How does it compare to the pain of today that our star striker's gone, or is this just water off a duck's back to you? Um, I, I think we just got to get over it and get on. And uh, I think um, I think maybe some of the strikers that we've got were under the shadow of Dom and. Uh, I think it's good to see what you and I can do, and uh, I don't think we don't start changing positions of people like Semenya, who's played brilliantly where he plays, and uh, you know, so I, I'm pretty confident that um, we can we can move on, really. Olivia and Paul, hello. Here they are. Um, it's interesting to chat to Chris just then. Like last season, Semenya stepped up with a few goals. Cliver did, but other than that, you're sort of thinking, who else is going to do that? Yeah. Dom missing from Bournemouth it is a big miss isn't it we maybe we need to recruit maybe we need to rely on who we've got how are you feeling right now is it a sad day for you yeah I am sad and especially because we were just saying that they AFCB put out a post saying it's like a picture of him looking into disappearing off into the sunset and that got me actually so it is a sad day but you know dad's right we've got to just move on with things it's football isn't it I do think we need a replacement though. I love everyone else that we've got, but he was he was scoring the goals, wasn't he? He was getting the yeah. stats. So we do need someone else to pick up from that. Um, Paul, I, I don't know about you, but I'm always thinking in the immediate like future. I'm now thinking about Nottingham Forest. We've beat them, like it feels like every time we play them. Yeah. Playing them next week. And I've gone from thinking we're gonna beat him to actually we might lose this. <laughs> Well, yeah, maybe, but we just need Jaden Anthony back because he always smashes them in against Not Forest. So <laughs> I think we'll be all right. We'll be okay with him up front. Yeah. Right, we've got Cherry's friend Alex here. How are you? Are you okay? Dom Solanke's left us. Are you feeling sad today? Yeah. But maybe other players can step up. Who's your, who's your favourite player now that Dom's gone? Philip How many do you reckon he's going to score this season? Do you reckon he can maybe score five or six or something like that? Seven. Seven. That's what I like to hear. And look, a few Bournemouth fans are a bit nervous looking over our shoulder thinking we might be in the relegation mix. Are we going to be this season or are we going to be okay? That's what he said. Familiar face with Andy Clark here. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah. Oh, you're good, are you? Even though that Dom Solanke, <laughs> our star player. Look, how are you? How are you feeling? There's a lot of Bulba fans that don't really know how to feel today. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be a big miss. I think he's going to be a huge miss. Struggle to see where the goals are going to come from. He was. He had a really good season last year. Um, I think it's a good bit of business him going going um, in the sense that 
they've made a lot of money out of Dom Solanke. I, I don't see that value particularly. But well, he only had one good season one in the Premier season. League, didn't he? And that's yeah. what they're banking on. But we'll see. Um, I'm, 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 I was chatting to others earlier about who potentially they're going to buy. And Keita's been mentioned. I take him all day long. I think he's he's dying for a club where he can be the focal point. Um, Tammy Abraham, I've heard the name as well. I think he's still in Italy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, not not you're not doing an awful lot, but yeah, they need someone to replace um, Big Dom. Really, uh, let's see what happens. But where are the goals going to come from today? It's Kerry. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks, Sam. You're good. But the ba- the bad news today at one o'clock, we heard that Dom's going it's a big miss for us isn't it it's quite a it's quite a horrible feeling to know that he's not going to be in a red and black shirt again yeah I know it's really really sad but obviously there's been lots of speculation all week about it um, so not wholly unexpected this morning when the tweet came out um, just gutted really because he's worked so hard for us but you know he's got his own career to think about and um, I think he'll do great at Spurs so um, You know, just thanks for everything he's done and I wish him all the very best. But I just hope that we can um, get someone equally as good um, fairly soon. I think that um, one of the things I can say about Dom is that his kind of demeanour off the pitch, like he's such a nice bloke. I mean, I've not met him in person, only the training thing very briefly when we were over in the States, but like when he comes out, he's happy to do photos and stuff. And like, you know, on the pitch, you can see that he's not a player that gets very angry. He's very cool and calm. Spurs are getting a class act, aren't they? He's yeah. a really nice guy. Yeah, and I think he'll fit in really well there. Like you say, he's he is a class act. He's really composed. There's no drama around him at all. Um, and yeah, going to Spurs, I think that's. Um, I just think he'll fit in re- fit in really well. Um, yeah, I, I'd be kind of interested to watch his onward journey, but at the same time, you know, a little bit gutted too. But you know, we've got all that money, um, you know, for him, the biggest amount we've ever got, I yeah, believe. Yeah. So, you know, we're in a really good position now um, to get someone good. Right, we're on our way. We've left the pub and now we're on our way to uh, watch Bournemouth versus Girona. My Girona. S- Steve, yeah, <laughs> great recall that. Steve. Um, yes. Dom Solanke, mm-hmm. big miss. Well, uh, yeah, massive miss, mate. Um, wish have, we could have. Have Spurs been mugged off with the uh, fee or not? No, not, not at all. I think he... But, it's difficult. I think if he'd have done another season with us and re- replicated what he did last season, I think... It would have been even more they would have been paying. So I think they've got a good deal. I think he suits their style of play. Oh, we're going to get run over here. Um, but he's going to be a massive miss for us. Um, I don't really see that anyone can fill his shoes who we've currently got in the squad. So it's going to be, uh, you know, and going to have to earn his money whether he sort of entrusts someone like Semenyo to maybe yeah. fill that role or if Jefferson's up to it. I don't know. We haven't seen enough of him yet. Or maybe when who now gets back fit, we haven't seen enough of him yet. So it's a difficult one. It's big shoes to fill. Mm. Uh, but let's see. We've still got a bit of time in the window. We could do some business. Mm. You never know. But I don't know who we're going to get in of that sort of calibre. So I don't know, mate. We'll see. We will see. Right. We're queuing up and we're about to go in. Right then. We are in the stadium and it's just kicked off. We've got a strong side. We'll come to Ben in a minute that's going to talk us through it. Of course, Dom Slanky is not in the starting lineup. Of course. Right, so 0 0 just getting started. Uh, ben, what is the team that Bournemouth have got out there? So we've got Travers in goal. Um, so Neto is not even in the squad. Zabani and Snessi are the two centre backs. Kirk has left back, Smith right back. Um, Scott and Christie Holden, so no Lewis Cook. Bit of a surprise there. Um, and then it looks like Clivert's in kind of the 10, Smenu on the right, Sinister on the left, Philip Billing up top. You know what? Um, we, you know, well, do you think this is anything like we might start next weekend, maybe? Well, I, I don't see why we wouldn't, because it's the last pre season game, it's the last real test that we're going to have. So, yeah, I would, uh, I, would, I would think so, and I would like to think so, because if we, if we started Neto in goal, Last uh, ne- next week, even after he's had 45 minutes of football in yeah. inside 
two weeks, so I, I wouldn't really have a lot of faith in that. But it looks like Travers, seeing as he's started this game, played the second 45 of the last game, that he could be the starting goal against Forest, which is promising and what we've all been calling for. Right, let's see how we do. You know what? We're doing right so far. I fancy us to get an early pen, you know. Cherries have got a penalty already, Ben. Yeah. I couldn't tell who it was, but it was good footwork. It was playing well. Good start. It's a very good start. And uh, look, Girona, we know they're under strength, but shall we see this? Shall we? Come on, let's. Let's do it. Right, here he goes then. Five out. It's the man. Oh, look at Oh, my God. Look at that penalty. That was a really beautiful penalty, that. Really beautiful. The crowd go wild. Tom is seen over here. Cliver, very casual, Tom. Momu. play we've got a few Girona fans in front of us and they are celebrating a goal a really good goal as well well worked like some good pressure by Romeo the ex Southampton player Tom's been trying to give him grief all game maybe unsuccessfully England scored a goal and come to England and scored a goal However, on the balance of play, I'm not sure that's their first proper shot they've had. But it is one all. I think Bournemouth have been wasteful with chances. But look, good to see him uh, notch a goal, especially given they lost 4-0 last night. Fair play to him. We've made it. But the, there could be a flag and it may not count. Offside. And there's no VAR on this, so we know that's what's going to happen. Tom. 38 minutes, right? He's going, yeah. They are celebrating again a goal from long range. It was almost outside the box and it beat Travers. I mean, it was a really good low shot into the corner of the net. We support our local team. We support our local team. If we're going to support our local team, thanks for Solanke. Yeah. Here we go. We have scored. Really good cross. To the far stick. Lewis Sinistero rises down it into the back of the net. Tom Jordan is a happy man. Great ball, Dango. Yeah. City said that, didn't we? In the air. Oh, really, really good header at the fast tick. City. Hey, get ball the 18 ball. Get ball, come on. Get the 18 Two goals Scott, in two preseason games. Scott, really good for him. That's uh, aimed at Romeo, of course, ex uh, Southampton player. And it is free! There with a, with a little uh, cheeky little run, and it was, a, it was a kind of cross come shot in a way. Yeah. But Jefferson was there to, to finish off. Happy days. Who, who would you say that finish reminded you of? One player, maybe Dominic Sankey. Is he better? <laughs> Get him started. Get him started. Three, two. Happy days. You've been a winner. 
Champions League, yes. It was a, it was an okay test. Jebo's a winner. They're cashing in that 65, son. Jebo, come on, Jebo. Other chairs. We'll see you in the next one.